Hello, happy hippos. The title of this book is The Word Collector. This is about a little boy who learns so, so many new words and how to use them when he talks to people. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps, some people collect coins, others collect rocks, some collect art, some collect bugs, others collect baseball cards, some people collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out at him. Here he's reading willow, like the tree, willow tree. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page, like the word emerald. <clears throat> Short and sweet words. Spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two syllable treats. Treasure, candid, motif, whisper, hover, glimmer. And multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs. Guacamole, geometry, kaleidoscope, wonderful, symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, vociferous, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Molasses, smudge, torrential, bellow, Tyrannosaurus rex. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day, while transporting them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. Oh my goodness, all the pieces of paper that he wrote on with all his new words, now they're going everywhere. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together, words he had not imagined being side by side. Whisper, symphony, electric, peace, savor, dreams, cascading stars. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand, I'm sorry, thank you, you matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. 
One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he, as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. Now, the first time that his words went everywhere, he was a little bit upset at first until he saw all these wonderful words right next to each other. But this time, he's letting all the words go on purpose. Maybe some other people will learn these wonderful words too. There they are. He saw children in the valley below scurrying about collecting words from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Sharing all of his words and everything he knew about the words made him so happy. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. And that is the end. Bye, happy hippos.